the Man of War was a British Royal Navy expression for a powerful warship or frigate from the 16th to the 19th century. The term often refers to a ship armed with cannon and propelled primarily by sails, as opposed to a galley which is propelled primarily by oars. The Man of War was developed in England in the early 16th century from earlier roundships with the addition of a second mast to form the carrack. The 16th century saw the carrack evolve into the galleon and then the ship of the line. The evolution of the term has been given thus. Man of War. A phrase applied to a line of battleship, contrary to the usual rule in the English language by which all ships are feminine. It probably arose in the following manner, men of war were heavily armed soldiers. A ship full of them would be called a man of war ship. In process of time the word ship was discarded as unnecessary and there remained the phrase a man of war. Description the Man of War design developed by Sir John Hawkins, had three masts, each with three to four sails. The ship could be up to 60 meters long and could have up to 124 guns, four at the bow, eight at the stern, and 56 in each broadside. All these cannons required three gun decks to hold them, one more than any earlier ship. It had a maximum sailing speed of eight or nine knots. See also, Portuguese Man o' War a jellyfish-like Cnidarian so named because of its resemblance to a man-of-war ship at full sail, rating system of the Royal Navy, which classified warships into six rates, based on their armament strongest as one, weakest as six. Merchantman, a merchant ship, East Indiaman, a ship of any of the East India companies. References External links, nautical references, Project Gutenberg, The World of Waters, Gallery of Photos of Men of War